so well I'm pleased that she actually can oh, can I just get past the wall and just check the other entrances up there? Although Erwin, I have to say there's no way that that is a man. No, it wasn't. <laughs> no. It was a female, was it? I thought that was the, the entrance for the male, but I know. But Erwin, can I just ask what you're gonna do about the I mean you can't show that on YouTube. Uh, You'll uh, get in trouble, won't you? What will uh, you do? I don't wanna get demonetized, I'll figure something out. Um sorry, I'm in the way. Go. Oh. The other thing I was gonna say yeah. is she's quite she's more blue than grey, isn't she's she? So, yeah, so bluey hue, yeah, but it's yeah, yeah. Do you think that's more of like a female thing? I don't know. She's a funny looking little thing, isn't she? Looks a bit like me nan. Okay. See, that's why I came to this species because they're, they're relatively calm. She doesn't seem to mind us being here. So. Oh, she's, oh, she's so gone cute. In. The tree itself is not particularly impressive, so I don't know why they've picked. I think that they one. must be very spiritual, Erwin. Yeah, they, I, think I think they, they are. are very, um, you know, superstitious. The colour grey yeah. represents neutrality and balance. Right. Which is obviously why they're such a peaceful, spiritual. They are very calm, yeah. They're not constantly getting their knickers in a twist like <laughs> pixies do. do. They wear knickers. No, I mean just metaphorically speaking. Can I talk to it or anything? Can I say anything? Shall I say anything? No, no, just stay still. No. So that's a bit more successful. <laughs> I mean, it, I'd only been here like half an hour, so it was almost instant. I'm going to turn this off because I need to look where I'm going. He doesn't seem to be trying to get away. From me, he could easily hide. So he's just up there. I wasn't expecting that. That's uh, unusual to happen straight away like that. Um, um, coating uh, seemed uh, quite suspicious of. Um, they're quite hard to, to... Oh, there's another one there behind that little mound. They, they, they sort of pop up and then run behind the... When they're, when they're moving around, they tend to sort of go down behind the leaves. So it's quite hard to... to and they look quite similar, so it's quite hard to know how many they're actually were. Uh, oh, now that's a beating stick that they knock against the wood. That's what alerted me when I turned around to him. I'm just pointing the camera at me uh, because when I'm tracking it around with them, uh, I think they get a bit intimidated by it. So I'm sort of pointing it at me. I don't really have much to say, but I just, <laughs> uh, just want them to show that this isn't some sort of uh, weapon. Um, Hold on, I'm trying to get, there's a shot of one down there, I'll just try and get, if I can get focus. Yeah. I think this was the 
I think this was the chap with the beating stick, although I can't see the stick in this shot. So he might have put it down somewhere. Uh, but it was the same area. And uh, I'm pretty sure there weren't any nuts on this bit, so I don't know what he's, quite, what he's examining there. <laughs> I'll just show this off. This is quite a rarity. The Morsu don't tend to, to do any rock carving. I think their ancestors made a lot more effort than the current generation who just stick snails and things around to make attractive patterns, but nothing, nothing like this. This was obviously quite a lot of work. And obviously that's the main entrance there. And those nice little staircase things, which they don't really need. I mean, they're quite capable of clambering over the rocks, but I think it's really just to look impressive. And I quite like this figure here, which is <laughs> quite elaborately done. And these patterns there, I, I don't know if there's any um, sort of hieroglyphic meaning to them. They remind me of um, a little bit of uh, the sort of um, Aboriginal patterns of um, Australia in a way. There's another smaller entrance here, less impressive. But... Um, yeah, I've been up here many times, but I've never seen them actually use this, so I presume they come here some... I, maybe it has some spiritual or, you know, some some sort of uh, special religious meaning to them. I don't know. Be a wing on it, might be a bird. Many pictures. There you go. That's miles away. You probably won't be able to see anything on that. There's a sort of figure there with an outstretched arm or a wing or maybe a sun, I don't know. Oh, right, I've been spotted. Um, yeah, okay. Right, he's not happy with that. Um, I'll put it back again. That's not what I wanted to happen. It looks like I'm stealing. Put it, put it back again where it was. Right, I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm going to get back to the camera. This is the problem you get when you're trying to sort of show things off. I found some manky old flying saucers in the bottom of my bag. There's only three of them, but I think the best thing I can do is go up there and leave these as a sort of apology for looking like I was going to steal their artwork. <laughs> Oops. So I'll go and do that. Right. He's still there. Flying saucers here. I'm just going to go up. I don't know if he's still there. Oh, he's sort of muddling around. We just... oh, this isn't easy. Oh, stumbling about. I'm not quite sure where to put them. So there they are. Oh, okay. Well, he's obviously seen that. I better just make a run for it. Well, not a run for it. Hopefully, that'll be enough to get them back in in my good books. No, the other way around. Right, I'm doing. Oh. So he's one tailing me now. I stopped here. I was going to try and get a shot of him on that. There's a log there. But he's not there now anyway. I can't be bothered to focus it. If, I, if he comes back, I'll... I need to get on anyway because it's it's not getting dark, but it's, it is late in the day and I don't know the way out. <laughs> I'm in sort of unknown territory, so I'll switch the camera. <laughs> right, well, that was probably the words worst art heist 
Right, so I'm just getting set up for an intro, but there's one hanging around. Oh, he's up there. Actually, I'll just straight away before I even done anything. Hold on. I can just just up. Oh, he's gone. Going. Oh, can't really see him now. Okay, well, he was. He's acting a bit strange. So I was. Actually, I'm gonna. I'll just go up there. I'll, I'll do an intro in a bit. Right. Well, when it goes, oh, it's going. Again now. Right, I'm going to try and find out what that's about. Right, that's it. There. If you just wait... Right, it's doing it now. Tilt. That tilt... I don't know who's controlling it, because that branch sort of goes across. And then... Is it that one? No, that's too close. It's hard to tell. Oh, okay. Right, that doesn't look good. There's another one up there. Um, right, that doesn't look friendly. Let's... I'll, okay, I'll explain about... Right. One just by that log there. It's stalking me. Just before I go, which I think is very wise, I'm just leaving some flying saucers around. Now that thing up in the tree was a, a water whistle, uh, very similar to the ones used in uh, South America, Peru, uh, Peruvian, and I think you know they're often referred to as Aztec water whistles there. I will put some of these on. They've got water in them and then when you, they tilt the water moves from one chamber to the other and then they've got a little pushes the air out and they've got little whistles. Oh, oh, that's probably enough. I'm just gonna I'll leave this here for them. Oh. Yeah, well, I am, I am being watched. I'll try and get another shot of it before I go. Oh, dropped all those. I'll just leave it all. All right. I'm not going to keep filming him because they're being quite nasty at the moment. I just... So from the rain in here... Oh, I can hear that noise again. I don't know if it's coming out, so it's quite, quite distant, the whistling sound. All right, I don't know if that's... I'm probably be Okay. Uh, right, I'm going to get out of here. I'll try, and, I'll try and bring back the camera and... Get out of... We can't... It's just easier to stand. Oh, I'll just go this way. Right. Oh, this isn't fun trying to do it. Too old for this, really. Oh, I hear scuttling around. Sounds so... Right, let's, I'll try and see if I can film the... I have to be quick with this, really, because I can... Hopefully that's... I got that in focus. You can see there on those three. Sorry, I have to go. There's something. Oh, okay. Right, I'm gonna have to go. They're all. So you can see one there. There's a few up there. There's also one there. Right, I'm gonna get away. Sorry for the awful filming technique. I'm just. It's hard to traverse over this terrain and I'm just trying to get away from them because although they're not really attacking me directly they are following me and trying to sounding aggressive so all right which way I'll try and there's one down hold on he's sort of hidden behind that 
All right, I'll just carry one out. There's another one there. I'll just go with this way. So the last one that we... I found this. You are walking well, straight you, yeah, past. Okay, Carol found it, yeah. <laughs> um, so the tree's slightly more impressive than the last one. Uh, it's absolutely know. beautiful, it's, isn't it? It's very nice, yeah. It looks like some kind of garland. Do you think yeah. it's like for a festival or something? No, they wouldn't have festivals. Why not? Well, because, because they don't live in... A, they, they, you'd have to have a whole tribe of them to have a, like a festival. It's always like a, some sort of ritual thing. But they're individuals, so they just... Uh, well, it's nearly Christmas. Do you think it could no, be Christmas? They don't celebrate Christmas, no. Why not? Well, because they... they they wouldn't have a Bible. They wouldn't know about you know all that. They wouldn't. They have no concept of that. So they might have Father Christmas. No, though, they might. They? they wouldn't have Father Christmas. No, <laughs> <laughs> it's just pulling my leg. They so, might have right. Christmas elves. No, they right, don't have. No, no. Did they have Rudolph? <laughs> no. Right. <laughs> Because she goes, um, she goes, Auntie Carol, I've been looking at all of her, her comments on Irwin's videos yeah. and his fans absolutely love him and they want to ask him all these questions and they want to know more all about... Yeah, well, Tom's tried doing that with the Ask Irwin thing. I know, but Andy, he does podcasts for a living. Who's, that? Who's Andy? It's Ellen's husband. OK. And what he could do is, um, uh, so he could set it all up. Record, yeah, 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 and record it all. Just keep having to keep an eye on me. You really ought to need to keep the. And what you do is you do something like a Q and A, which stands for question. Yes, like I've heard of that. Right. Yeah. And oh, have you all got your notebooks? Look at that beautiful, lovely stocking filler. That. Anyway, she goes. Um, yeah. Cook, cook. Do you have another biscuit. Uh, I don't know, that's fine. It's like you're losing your concentration I'm a bit not, while so I'm just talking. Have to, it's just, um... So what we'd do is we'd read a few of these comments out, and then and then you could tell people in a podcast. In a podcast, yeah. What? So, okay. So I could, you could say now, what questions would you like to ask me if I did a podcast, and would you like me to do a podcast? Go and ask them. Ask them. Now. Say and say pertinent comments. Ask them now. Yeah, go and ask them. Now. <coughs> what? I can't. What's that? What's Would you like I, me to do a podcast? Would you like me to do a podcast? And if so, and if questions so, what have questions have you got for me? Is that it? Yeah. yeah and, and would you like me to do a podcast? And what, what, what questions have you got for me? Yeah. And what what you'd do is you'd put if you put them in. Comments. Starting to rain. Oh no. You got an umbrella? Yeah. But that's for the camera. Oh. Irwin's uh, gone off up there because he, he thought he could hear something. So, it, oh, I must keep my voice down, mustn't I? And so he's taken his little camera. I actually, I don't think there's anything up there. I think he's just gone to try and get away from me for 10 minutes. Um, but I thought what I'd do, my niece Ellen said that a few of you had said on comments that you liked the little um, baby Irwin felt uh, that I did uh, as a present for him last time. So I thought you might want to see uh, how they're made. So I've done this one. This is what I've got as a present for grey folk. He'll hate it because it's not scientifically accurate, Erwin will. Um, but anyway, look, she's got little, cute little wings and a little mushroom hat and this little sort of power puff ball. Don't know what that is, but I thought she'd like it. And anyway, what you do is you, so I'm just finishing off a, a a little skirt here just on the bottom it's not quite finished so you get your felt like this you get a piece of felt and then you start prodding it and at, at first all fibers you know just sort of fly around a bit but after a while you can see it they start to stick together and they go solid like that so you can see here our little skirt the more I do it the more it'll start to stick together like that and you can sort of like shape it you know the more you prod the more sort of solid it gets where's he gone i think he's gone for a lie down <laughs> see here there's some i think i mentioned it before some uh, stones which they place as trees are growing he's obviously been here quite a long time and growing up with the tree. Oh, look at him. 
the green man. <laughs> oh, what's he doing now? Oh, he's seen something. There's one down here. Oh my giddy I don't know what to do. Erwin! Erwin! She's wanting me to come down. All right. But probably... Oh. Yeah, it's because you approach. Sorry, yeah. sorry. Come, come back. Take it from me back. Oh, happy Christmas, you. Right, well, that one's that one's the male. So I thought that was a female burrow. So I don't know quite what he's doing there. Where has he gone? Behind those trees there. Oh, ooh, he's off. Let's just see if I can. See up there, he's sort of well out of my reach, so... Oh, where's he going? Yeah, I can't really get up there, so... He's been trying to hurl these across to his accomplice on the other side, and if I just move the camera across, you'll be able to see just there. <laughs> he's gesturing back to him and saying, come on, throw another one. I don't know if this is a game, or it could be some sort of ritual. But whatever it is, it doesn't appear to be very successful. Throwing another one there. It looks as though he's going to go for another one as well. This chap on the ground here seems as his his job is to collect any which don't make it across, which has been 100% so far. Here he goes, underarm technique, hurling across, and again, <laughs> it didn't get there. So it probably just fell just all the way down here. And oh, he's caught it. Well, that's unusual. He hasn't, that's the first one that he's caught. You know, it's very interesting behavior. And as I say, it could be related to, could it be some sort of ritual? Who knows? Not sure. Okay, found one. <laughs> the last, quite a good shot of him. No, he's gonna go, he's going down. <laughs> first decent shot I get, and he runs off. Yeah. See him just that's it, just there. Ah, he's gesturing to somebody. Let's just take a look around there. Where is he? He's up here somewhere. There he is, there he is. Gesturing back again. <sighs> what are they doing? Yeah, uh, just in front of camera. Um he's been keeping an eye on me. Um but he just sat down there. Um, but I don't think this is a camp, and I think he's just sent out as a, as a, as a scout to just keep an eye on what I'm doing. So, um, not sure if it's worth staying around, uh, to be honest. So, not sure.
so he's just coming up from down there so hopefully he won't spot that and if so he'll have to go past there so we'll get, get a decent stable shot of him right i need to get put it on me I, I need to get back to that camera because he's gone out of range and we can't really see him from here now so I, I can't really do it just yet because he'll hear me scrunch across those leaves but i can't really tell different entrances so have you got your camera going um yeah it's going now okay okay uh owen owen oh okay um, um. Run, 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 run. i am i am i can't go i'm burning my hand